returning to Christie's work, outside of she just has a fabulous work ethic, is that she's taken a material that is traditionally viewed for its excellence as far as its craft, so that your ability to handle the medium, the clay, is at a certain level, and so it's appreciated on that level as a craft. And she's taken the work a step further. So she's very proficient at her craft, but then she's added these layers of thought into the pieces that take it from a craft to a fine art. Well, when I was making these pieces, I was thinking about uh, you know the relationships that we have with animals and how we um, will feed our dog another animal and things like that. So when I was making this picture set, um, I was thinking about how the pitcher is sort of begging to you not to give away his goods, um, like almost pleading with you, and behind him are these like sort of vicious and angry little cups that like want their goodies, and like you will be rewarded if you give away this innocent guy's goodies to them because then you can drink from it. So it's kind of um, this interesting piece that has a lot of like attention with the viewer where the viewers engaged with this um, picture and these guys are engaged with the picture and it's sort of like an interesting relationship that happens there and um, like a decision that needs to be made with the viewer and the cups. I think she's just one of the rising stars in southern Indiana and coming out of uh, Indiana University. When I was coming up with like their forms I wanted them to be ambiguous because I don't want a viewer to like bring preconceived notions of any particular animal with them to the table when they see them. So I want them to be a representation of an animal rather than a particular animal. And the representation of the animal that I want like to show is an animal that would be domesticated because that is my perspective coming from a inner city and then a suburban area. All of the animals that I see are sort of pathetic in this way that they don't need their bodies for survival any longer because people will take care of them. So they have, they don't need things on their bodies to help them with survival. And it seems more like they're pets, they're small, they're apartment size, they have horns like cattle and things like that. They have um, flabby and kind of pathetic little limbs. So they're really just like a representation of the animals that I'm used to seeing. And sitting down in a chair is a big step in a gallery to get a person to do, but it's also like a way of getting them to interact with the pieces on a whole new level rather than seeing them on a pedestal. And I think that when you're sitting in the chair, the perspective that you have of them completely changes from the perspective of when you're standing looking down at them. And I'm really interested in getting people to think about um, why we treat some animals a particular way, like we'll eat them and we'll slaughter them, we'll shoot them out of our homes if they're eating garbage out of our cans or things like that. And other animals we'll protect with our life, like our dog or our cat. Like the animals that we keep around us are very much animals that are like humans. Like I think that it's interesting the term good dog and how it doesn't really mean good dog, it means good human. Because if it truly meant good dog, you'd be calling the good dog the one that com comes and brings home dead animals. But we call the good dog the one who sits on the couch like a little person watching TV. I applied for the Regina Brown Undergrad Fellowship from INSECA, which is the National Council on Education in the Ceramic Arts. And it's a pretty prestigious award. They only hand out three a year, and it's a nationwide competition, so a lot of people are applying, so it's a big honor to, to get that award. And it was basically um, to fund me going to Yellowstone and seeing real wild animals in their natural habitat to kind of widen my perception. So I went there and did the, a lot of research. And um, I just spent a lot of time like, out observing animals and um, now I'm coming back and I am doing a new body of work and they're much larger animals and I will be doing a show at the Arts Council in late November.